the mayor got a thunderous welcome at Kennedy King College, where he told students to brace themselves in the closing days of the campaign. There are people running for office. There are opponents who would try to confuse you and abuse your mind with false information, non-information, and disinformation. As important as appearances like these are to the mayor's base of support, he says what's especially significant about the day happened earlier. Here goes. <laughs> the mayor signed into law the new ethics ordinance as Alderman gave him a standing ovation. This law will change the face of politics in Chicago forever. The new ordinance says these aldermen can be investigated only by other aldermen, not the new ethics board. It also limits the acceptance of gifts, prohibits nepotism, outlines conflicts of interest city employees have to avoid, and puts a $1,500 limit on campaign contributions from city contractors. Jane Byrne again accused the mayor of circumventing his own self-imposed $1,500 limit because different committees collect money for him. He says he doesn't take money, and then when finally people prove he did, then he says, well, I will return it, but he's been saying that for four years. I said it 50,000 ways, I'll say it 50,001. Where I receive dollars in excess of 1,500 from any one entity, we return it. After his college appearance, the mayor was supposed to go to a Springfield fundraiser, but the trip was canceled about the time he was signing the new ethics ordinance. His office said it was because of a full schedule in Chicago. With a look at what his opponent was doing today, Jim Avila reports from the North Lake